us a look at Miguel Cotto in his dressing room. We are one fight away from the main event. And the Puerto Rican star draws booze from the many Mexican and Mexican-American fans and the audience who will be rooting for his opposite number, Canelo Alvarez. Miguel Cotto, long list of high-quality wins, only four losses, one of which almost certainly deserves an asterisk against Canelo Alvarez, only 25 years old, already with more prize fights in his career than is the case for Cotto. Alvarez, even though he is 10 years younger than Cotto, has been a professional fighter for 10 years after having turned pro at age 15. A big difference between Canelo and Cotto, no amateur fights for this young man, whereas Miguel Cotto had a decorated amateur career and went to the Olympics in Sydney in 2000 before turning professional. And now let's take a look at the tail of the tape for the next fight coming into the ring. Very interesting fight. Takashi Miura defending a 130-pound title, which he has held for a while now, against Francisco Vargas, who has 19 consecutive wins and is regarded by some as a logical favorite in the fight. You see the one-year age advantage for Vargas, the Mexican. He is also an inch and a half taller than Miura. Although Miura, the shorter fighter, has the arm length advantage of one inch measured from the armpit to the end of the fist. They weighed in at or a half pound under the 130 pound limit. And tonight, Miura has rehydrated up to 144 and Vargas to 142. And now making his entrance to the ring, the defending world champion. From Japan, Takashi Miura. So Miura walks first. Actually, Miura walks second. Vargas is already in the ring. Missed that. Okay. Here comes Miura, the champion. Some regard Vargas as a good choice to beat him because of his speed. Max Kellerman, this could be a barn burner of a fight. On paper, looks really good. Miura is, Miura is like the anti Rigondeaux. Not a big amateur background, a shallow amateur background, 40 fights. Uh, not all subtle sophistication in his defensive skills. A total offensive fighter who brings it and who can really punch. Boy, in your amateur career, you fight fighters from all over the world. Is there a typical Japanese style? No, there's no typical Japanese style. They're just kind of out there doing whatever they do. They are kind of erratic. They liable to do anything. Miura is a pile driver. Goes forward, tries to hand land hard punches, fighting against a guy who's regarded as a faster fighter tonight in Vargas. And now let's go back up to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Mandalay Bay of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Oscar de Loya's Golden Boy Promotions in association with Taken Boxing. is proud to present the co-featured world title bout sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission and the World Boxing Council. Sponsored by Corona Extra, La Cerveza Mas Fina. The motion picture creed starring Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone. This Thanksgiving in theaters everywhere, Creed, fight for your life. O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day. Mexico, live it to believe it. Tequila Cazadores, 100% agave tequila from the highlands of Jalisco. Corporate travel made simple. Visit ctmstravel.com for more information. And Caval Siete, WBC supervisor ringside, Alberto Leon. The three judges scoring will be Adelaide Bird, Glenn Feldman, and Patricia Jarman. And inside the ring in charge of the action at the bell, World Championship veteran referee, Tony Weeks. And now from the Mandalay Bay of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing gold with red, official weight, 129 pounds. His professional record, 22 victories, including 16 wins by knockout. He has a draw on his record. He's the challenger 
Damas y caballeros de Ciudad de México, el invicto, the undefeated challenger, Francisco el Bandido Vargas. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the black corner, wearing black trimmed with gold, officially weighing in at 130 pounds, an outstanding professional record consisting of 29 victories, including 22 wins by knockout, two defeats, two draws. He's the fighting pride of Tokyo, Japan, the reigning and defending WBC super featherweight champion of the world, Takashi Miu. Gentlemen, you both receive your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Escúchame, cuídate. Listos? Vámonos. As we said on paper, this has a chance to be something really good. Miura is an all-action, come-forward, knockout-type puncher. And he's got the belt. And there are many who believe his challenger favorite to win here tonight. Francisco Vargas, you heard Michael Buffer use the nickname El Bandido. Vargas says he was given that nickname Bandido by no less a personage than Freddie Roach when a couple of years ago he was brought in to train for a while at the Wild Card Gym in Hollywood and apparently got the better of a couple of fighters there who did not know who he was in sparring sessions and at that point Freddie Roach said, aha, this is the bandito. He's stealing other people's prestige while he's here in the gym. Since then, 19 consecutive wins. Well, he'll have to steal something here tonight because Takesha, Takashi is really after him. He's not trying to land a jab. He's not trying, trying to land nothing lightly. He's trying to bomb on him. Now, Takashi Miura is one of those go forward, power punching, pile driving southpaws who defies the old stereotype of the southpaw as a finesse fighter. He's not a finesse fighter. And you can see Vargas, though, punches really haven't been landed, not many yet. There's a good right, a good left hook counter by Vargas, but Vargas has to expend energy when Miura's just. Oh! Hard right hand by Vargas. Miura's in big trouble. Look for a moment as though his knee went down. Tony Weeks was watching, and it was not ruled a knockdown. It was a good shot. He was Boy, almost out of there. Almost a first-round KO for Vargas. Stop, stop, stop. He comes in very excited about the possibility and is taking the measure of Miura right away, and now Miura lands a big left hand of his own. A lot of time left in this round. Yeah, it is. Stop, stop. Saw Miura spot responded with his own power shot, but Vargas really nailed him with that right hand. Good body shot stop, by stop, Vargas, stop. too. Vargas, a very slick fighter, I'm sure has seen much more than Miura has because by being in wild card, he was fought with probably stop, champions stop, stop. and ex-champions uh, then. So he's seen a lot more. That's one way to tame a pile driver type fighter Jim is you heard him coming in and he just heard him with a body shot too Max he just heard you with a body shot and not just the wild card but you know his other gym experiences are in Mexico City and you can bet that there are some stop, stop. great gym fighters in Mexico City that we've never seen or heard gotta of be. gotta be man Muir is easy to hit with that right hand yeah he's killing with that right up cut this is one of the reasons that a lot of ringside experts were picking Vargas to win the fight. Because the styles match up in such a way that what Vargas does, Miura is a target for that. Well, Miura has landed some of his own, too. Vargas has a cut ah! under that right eye. Indeed he does. Vargas, be intelligent. Relax. 
Relax, drink. And you give me a head bun. Hey, relax, relax, everything's okay. You caught him there. But don't stay away. All right, son, don't let him beat you. You got nothing. He see, he land his overhand right, which uh, Francisco landed the overhand right, right down the middle. And at that point, Takashi was pretty much out of there. How did he not go down? I have no clue. Once again, watch a beautiful overhand right, stepped outside the jab, and you can't ask for a cleaner punch than that. That's got to be just strong legs, Roy, that kept him up. Amazing. Amazing. Mind. Because, I mean, that knee was almost all the way down, but he managed to keep himself from going to the canvas. Copy box numbers in round one. Miura, seven out of 27, and a couple of them were very hard left hands. Vargas, 29 out of 91. Vargas landed 25 power shots, including some hellacious right hands, most especially the one that nearly put Miura down. But as Roy pointed out, there is a little horizontal cut under the right eye of Vargas as he goes back to work in round number two. Miura was expecting to defend a straight right hand, and Vargas looped it, which is why he caught him with Miura's defense extended. And to not go down and then land the shots that he landed and then to still be hunting in this second round is amazing. Caught him looking strictly to hit, and he wasn't having any respect, any respect for um, Francisco's power. Still doesn't have any respect any better. You know what I'm saying? That first round, that's how he got caught. He was strictly trying to land his own power shots, mm -hmm. not really respecting Francisco's power shots. Still getting painted by power shots oh, in round shot. two is Miura. And Miura has to grab and hold on stop, 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 after stop. Vargas lands five straight hard shots. Yeah, he better figure out how to get those hard shots off of him or he won't be taking them too long. You need only to look at their stances to see that Vargas is the far more responsible defender. No, no, no. Miura fights one way. Good body shot by Vargas. That hurt. Good body shot by Miura. Stop, stop. Good right hand by Vargas. 130 pound weight class has some good fighters stop, stop. in it. You know, you're appearing in the United States after having held a title for a few years. You know, Jim, almost every weight class has some good fighters in it now. With all of the other countries starting to turn professional and be involved, every weight class is loaded with good fighters. Oh, good body shot. Wow. You mentioned it earlier, but a lot of good Japanese fighters on the highest world-class levels, uh, south of 135 pounds. There's a very strong promoter in Tokyo, Mr. Honda, Taikan Boxing. Among his clients, Jorge Linares of Venezuela, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez of Nicaragua. So fighters from all over the world have been brought to Japan, where there are enthusiastic crowds in Tokyo who love boxing. It's just a matter of time, it seems, before Bandito catches him, but... But Miro's gotten his feet back on the ground yes, in the second round. Yes, he has. And he's back in the fight. Next Saturday, heavyweight champion Vladimir Klitschko faces his biggest challenge in six foot nine inch opponent, Tyson Fury. Two behemoths in a modern age heavyweight showdown. HBO will show you the fight live from Dusseldorf, Germany at 4.45 p.m. with a replay later that night at 10.15. Jim, here where you see the experience come in. That same overhand right that almost dropped him in the first round. Boom, right down the pipe again in the second round. Had it been a little bit lower, we may have saw, we may have seen some pretty bad results. Combi box numbers in round two. Miura was 20 of 57, much better than in the first round. 
Vargas 35 of 88. He's had big numbers in both rounds. Vargas with an advantage in power shots, 26 to 16. But the first round was a wipeout. The second round was considerably closer. And Miura is still around after having taken some big shots from Francisco Vargas. Now let's see if Vargas can continue to make this a coming out show, a, a star making performance. Because it must be frustrating to have a guy still throwing power punches after the kind of punishment that Vargas has doled out. Yeah, but well, now I see what the problem is with Muir. He has to get too close before he throws his power shots. He won't throw it from a distance. He has to get right up on you before he throws them. And that's allowing Francisco Vargas to hit him three or four times before he ever gets close enough to throw it. Particularly since Miura doesn't have the head movement to slide inside past Vargas' shots. He has to eat them on the way in. And and that's a, not a good thing. He does a weird thing. It almost looks like a nervous tick from the long range. And then he moves his head from side to side from long range, but there's no purpose to it. When he comes in, you're right, Jim, he comes in straight, occasionally trying to get low under the punches. One of the first guys that I've seen wear the winning gloves in competition. Who is actually a puncher rather than a boxer. Exactly. But when you're a power puncher, you always have that equalizer. And Miura keeps pressing forward, hoping to land a big shot. Take it. Take a count. Take well, and the more you look at him, the more you realize Miura's chin is one of his weapons. <laughs> he's, he's willing to take punches. Stop, stop. Precisely. Vargas defending the body well because Miura is trying to rip those body shots. Yeah, yeah. Vargas is catching oh, them. There, there are a couple good ones, but was catching some on the elbows earlier. Well, good head shots too. Wow. Stop. Sometimes Miura gets off sharply, and his punches appear to have snap. Sometimes he appears to push the punch. Sometimes he seems to have some heavy hands because look at Vargas' face. Stop, stop, stop. Exactly. No, 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 no. <laughs> Great point. Yeah, if you're tu just tuning in, you think that Miura is winning the fight. That cut under Vargas's right eye, beginning to open up just a little bit in this round. Good straight right hand by Vargas. And there's a hard right hook by Miura. So Vargas seems to be recognizing now that he's not just going to blow Miura out of there with his speed and accuracy stop, advantages. Stop that Miura is capable of taking a certain amount of punishment and staying right there in the fight. And now Vargas has to respect the fact that Miura is a hard puncher who can take shots. There's Felix Verdejo, rising prospect for Puerto Rico. Going to be on True TV on a doubleheader with Nonito Donaire, December 11th. Great smile. Last Very saw Verdejo in Madison Square Garden the night of June 13. And there's Andre Ward, who has made an appearance here at ringside. Couldn't manage to stay on the card after he made an arrangement to fight a Colombian fighter in one of the preliminary bouts here tonight uh, because he developed swelling in his right knee and wasn't able to complete the training. Has signed the contract, which ultimately calls for him to fight Sergey Kovalev toward the end of next year on HBO. Ward Kovalev, one of the best fights that can be made in the sport. Although everyone will tell you the best fight that can be made in the sport at this moment is the one you're going to see tonight between Miguel Cotto and Canelo Alvarez. Harold, how'd you have the first three rounds? You, you know, Jim, it's really nice to see a real fight again. <laughs> <laughs> I got it three to nothing, 30 to 27, Francisco Vargas. I got to tell you, Jim, this is a heck of a fight. Vargas won the first round easily. I thought he just about knocked Miura down. But uh, in rounds two and three, Miura's really battling back. He's got a world-class heart. He's got a world-class, uh, uh, you know, ability to take a punch. And he's landed some real hard punches, which have messed up Vargas' face real bad. On the other hand, Francisco Vargas landed that right hand all night, doing a terrific job. Let's see if he can keep it up with all the bruises he's got on his face. Three to nothing, Vargas. I think you could have even given Vargas a 10-8 round in the first. 
Roy, how conscious is Francisco Vargas of the bruises on his face? Oh, he's very conscious of them, Jim. You, that's one thing you have to be conscious of because every little tap hurts. And every little tap reminds you that you have a bruise there. So he's very conscious of it. However, what he's realizing is that he can hit Takashi Ramirez or whatever he feels like. It. So he knows that eventually, if he keeps on punching him, he's going to get some wear and tear back. But, Jim, I, I, like what you said at the end of the last round, you could see that there was a change in Vargas where he stop, would stop. land the straight right and jump back. Like, I know this guy is not going anywhere. Let me get out of the way of that, of what's surely coming back at me. Right. Vargas was, was on the verge of becoming a slugger in the first round because he was landing so easily. Now he's boxing more and more. As Miura tries to keep the pressure on, and tries to force Vargas to fight his fight. Gritty, hard, on the inside. Muir has a heck of a head on him, son. I mean, he can take a punch. Vargas is hit him with everything. He doesn't shy away from nothing. Good straight left by Muir. And straight right by Vargas. Body shot. shots by Miura. Left and right. Miura oh. beginning to focus on the body. And that may be a very oh. choice. And down goes Vargas on a perfect straight left hand. Set up by the body shots. And the blood is flowing freely now from under Vargas's right eye. What a comeback in the fight by Miura. Yes, it will, but you better be careful because Vargas is still deadly dangerous. What you saw so stop, far stop. in this fight is a contender. Stop. Drop a champion early, and a champion show you why he's a champion. If the contender wants to be a champion, he's going to have to raise again. Boy, Takashi Miura is earning some fans here tonight with this comeback performance already in the fight. And that's the first time in Francisco Vargas's career, amateur or pro, yellow, yellow, that yellow, he's been knocked out. Three, How are you feeling? We caught you, huh, brother? You can't go through ro to the ropes, brother. You gotta get out. Don't go to the ropes. Don't go to. Are you okay? Yes. Here you see right here, Takashi lands a beautiful straight left hand right down the middle. I'm thinking about giving him a new nickname, Jim. Takashi Mike Tyson Miura. <laughs> wow, he can punch. <laughs> Boom, straight left hand, right on that cut on the eye again, which is why it started back bleeding. Tyson Kashimura. Yes. <laughs> Clearly the winner of that round, so now the fight begins to even up a little bit on the scorecards as Miura coming back with a 10-8 round, as you saw, on the unofficial scorecard of Harold Letterman. And now Miura is starting to outwork Vargas again in this round. You see Vargas' dilemma if he... Oh, what a body shot. If he keeps trying to box and move, Miura gets this head of steam. So then he tries to stand his ground, but now he's fighting Stop. Miura's fight. And all of that is possible only because of Miura's level of determination. Of course. And how, conditioning. How is he taking these body shots and these head shots and continuing? I don't know Miura is. I mean, he's taking some wonderful head shots, Stop. some Stop. fantastic body shots, and nothing that seems to slow him down. Has to be discouraging for, I mean, for uh, Francisco Vargas. Francisco Vargas told us he's fought a large number of Southpaws, maybe six or eight of them so far in his 22-0-1 record. Says, I don't have any trouble with Southpaws. No, 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 no. But no. he's now getting painted with straight left hands from Takashi Miura. He don't have problems with Southpaws that don't punch this hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those finesse Southpaws. Yes. He's okay with those guys, right? Yes. So Miura didn't go down in the first round, but but it was worse than a lot of knockdowns you see. Yeah, it exactly. looked like he was about to be stopped. Great point. Good shot by Vargas. Whoa, great shot by Vargas. Let's see if Vargas can answer Miura's answer from the last round. He's trying to, he's doing the right thing by going to the body, Max. Very smart on Vargas' part. Well, that's what Miura did. He threw a fusillade of body shots, five or six of them in a row, and then came back up with the left hand upstairs and knocked Vargas down. Now Vargas is trying to reverse the damage by going to Miura's body, he trying is. to put him in jeopardy. He is, but 
he's fighting Miura's style of fight. You know, it's almost as though he's resigned that, to the idea that if if he's going to win, he's going to have to oh, good beat body Miura shot. in this style of fight. Good body shot. That body shot hurt Vargas bad, man. No, no. You're talking about the left-hand body shot yes, by Miura. that hurt bad. Look at his legs. Yep. So let's see if Miura realizes the condition that Vargas is in at this moment. Good combination by Vargas. Oh. Thudding right hook by Miura. Yeah, Miura's power is not that snappy power. It's that heavy-handed power. Pile driving power. Yep. It's not, it's not based on speed or the other guy not seeing the punch coming. It's just a sledgehammer. It sure is. Especially that overhand left or that straight left. Imagine what Manny Pacquiao when he throws the one-two. Joe Koizumi no, 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 called no, no, no. him a Rocky Marciano stylist. I see what he means. Coming up next, Miguel Cotto and Canelo Alvarez. Crowd will be roaring for that one. A look at the 25-year-old Alvarez, the pride of Guadalajara. Only one loss in his professional career. Acknowledges that he was not mature enough to understand how to use his physical advantages against Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather's counterpunching had something to do with that. Mayweather also a winner over Miguel Cotto, and there's a lot of speculation now as Mayweather sits on the sidelines, momentarily retired from the sport. Most experts expect him to come back at some point and fight that 50th fight, and one logical candidate for that, for the opponent in that fight, would be Miguel Cotto, if Cotto can win tonight against Canelo. <laughs> Round six of the scheduled 12. Oh, look at Vargas come out firing this round. Francisco Vargas of Mexico City in the red oh. trunks, and Takashi Miura no, no, no. of no, Tokyo no, no. in the black. No, 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 I got this one. Early on, Miura couldn't keep up with Vargas' activity. In the last few rounds, Vargas has slowed down, fighting at about the same pace as Miura. And for all of Miura's crudeness, he has a way of getting those punches home. Punching when Vargas isn't expecting, having a kind of offbeat rhythm, because Vargas here looks... Oh, good body shot. ...like he's trying to box and doing the right things in tight, and Miura's still landing those shots. And their eyes seem to be getting bigger and bigger. He may have relatively crude craft, but when Miura wants to throw a big power shot, his feet are planted, and he is solidly balanced at that moment. He gets himself into the right position to throw power shots. Yeah, he's definitely a power puncher, Joe. Definitely a power puncher. No, 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 no. Mura gave Vargas a look at the end of, I think it was the second round. Stared him down in the corner. Oh, good body shot by Vargas. After Vargas had just really given him a beating. You wonder what effect that had on Vargas going forward. Oh, good body shot back by Mura. These guys are landing some hellacious body shots to one another's ribs and liver. These are main event body shots. Because both Miguel Goto and Canelo Alvarez are noted body punchers whose body shots will sometimes reverberate all around the arena. You hear the thwop sound. And we're getting all of that from Miura and Francisco right now. Thwop, stop, stop, stop. Thwop. <laughs> Heavy body shots. Yes, and that was a good change of speed on that body shot by Francisco Vargas just now in that last combination he threw. Good right hand lead. Straight right hand for oh, Vargas. Better Straight left, left hand. hand for Miura. Another left hand for Miura. Vargas lands the right again. Good fight. Coming down the stretch of the 6th of 12. This is a great fight, and it's on the undercard, and the arena's not full. This is not who they came to see, and so the crowd's not reacting um, the way they might in a great fight. But, stop, stop. boy, in terms of the action and the hard punches thrown, how much better does it get? It doesn't get much better than this, I promise you. Both guys are landing hellacious shots just below the ribcage. On the liver side and on the other side. Stop, stop. Yeah. 
れていいよ。配信呼吸した。で、全部の動き。全部、全部この動きいいから。な。変化、全部の動きいいからな。使ったな。はい、終始。はい。You gotta take the fight away from us. How are you feeling? You okay? Now you caught him, son. You just gotta throw that right, that hook. Two hooks, one in the middle, or one from the right and one in the middle. Movie flex your waist, son. Waist, waist. Casey Miura lands a beautiful left hook to the body. One of his best punches right under that left, right, left jab of boxes. Clean as they come. That one seemed to hurt pretty bad, Jim. This late in the fight, those type of body shots become very detrimental to the rest of the fight. Very good with that right hook. You saw him land it to the left side of Vargas's body. And of course, when he wants to throw the liver shot to the right side of Vargas's body, if he can get close enough to do that, he gets to throw that with his power hand, the left hand. Harold, how do you have it through six? <laughs> Look at you. In rounds, I've got a three rounds apiece, but in points, I've got a 57. 56 Takashi Miura. You know, he got an extra point for that knockdown in round four. And I think that's what, you know, is giving him the lead at this point in time. I mean, I think for, uh, Francisco Vargas is really being bothered terribly by, the, by that bad right eye. It's swollen. You got to wonder if his vision is being affected. And certainly, like Roy said, you know, you touch that, uh, that swelling and it must hurt like heck. Miura, on the other hand, flat footed, landing very hard. Moving forward, he keeps walking the guy down, and I think he's landing the hardest shots the last three, the last three rounds. Three to three, but but Miura by one point, Jim. If Vargas' eye is a mess. It's not spouting blood uh, from above the eye dripping in or anything like that, but it is just a, an ugly mess. Black and blue, swollen, and, and cut open. Do you think his vision's affected, Roy? No, I don't think it's affected yet, but it will be lit soon if he don't hurry up and do something here to make up for it, so uh, he won it. Oh, good left hand. Max makes a great point. When you look for what tactical adjustment might be available to Vargas to turn the fight back around, he can't exactly run and hide. Boxing is hardly an option because Miura is just going to roll right through that. He's more or less got to stand in there and try to fight Miura's fight. Just got to bang and try to catch him again like he did in that first round. He's trying to box tightly and responsibly from the mid-range uh, distance. But Miura just has this funky kind of delivery and rhythm, and it looks like you should be able to get away from the shots, but there he is, landing shots. Like that counter. Miura winds, uh, reminds me of a slightly harder punching Mickey Ward. He has the same kind of grit, determination, and the focus on the body. He got the same velocity with that left hand as a Manny Pacquiao. And he steps in with that short right jab and shoots that big left hand behind it. That's another leap for Mickey Ward. Of course. <laughs> and you heard the discouragement in Vargas' corner between rounds the last time. They might take this fight away from you, son. You need to do more. Miura did a spectacular job of turning the momentum of the early rounds around by digging in and firing to the body. Now that eye starts to bleed again and swell even more, I think, Jim. Oh, that thing's a mess. Yes, it is. So now, doctor evaluations will become a factor as from round to round, the doctors will be in the corner of Francisco Vargas and looking at that right eye. Keep the defense up. Keep the defense up. Be sharp with that. Can you do it? You work hard for this, son. Touch him, touch him. And then touch the body. Flex your waist, right, and the hook. Set him up. Set him up. The fight is even. Round eight upcoming. Tommy box numbers through seven. Takashi Miura, 132 out of 380. And Francisco Vargas, 203 out of 560. Vargas throwing more, landing more, 
and very gradually seeming to lose the fight to the power punching advantage of Takashi Miura. Vargas is the more skillful fighter. Top four. And, and yet, there's a reason Miura has been able to get to a higher professional level so far than Vargas. Um, here's Vargas's opportunity to raise to rise to that level, but it ain't easy. He's just gotta overcome all this power that uh, Miura is throwing. Miura is hitting him with some big power shots. If he can withstand it and then deliver his own power to the body, he can get lucky and get what he wants. But he's just gonna have to withstand or overcome this assault by Takashi Miura. Well, this stop, is stop. a round which just started out well for Francisco Vargas, because once again, he's back to the volume advantage he had early in the fight, throwing more than Miura. Miura may figure at this point he can afford to lose a round or two if he continues to get in the, bow, the power shots and punish the right side of Francisco Vargas' face with yeah. his left hand. Well, and it now looks like there's something maybe over the eye as well as under the eye. But the eye's almost closed anyway. So. Yeah. Then it's going to be harder and harder for him to avoid those left hands from Miura if he can't see out of the right eye. He's landing some big shots still, though, Max. Yeah, he is. That's the heart of a champion. And Miura has to be getting tired here because everything he throws has kill on it. And that makes you far more fatigued than the shots, control shots like uh, Vargas is throwing. Good body shot. That hurt bad. Both yes, what a hellacious battle this is. Boy, it, and and it would really be something because you don't often see when the tide starts to turn the way it did for Miura, for the contender to then figure out a way to do something else and kind of avoid what looks to be his fate. That takes something oh. special. Good body shot by Muir. Oh, good hook. They have been exchanging some real power shots here tonight. Good left hand by Vargas. Another good left hand by Vargas. Vargas. lands a right hand. Vargas found something to the body about a minute ago. And opened up a lot of shots to the head for him since then. This is a round that Vargas seems to be winning, but now there's oh, Mira. Delayed Staggering reaction. him again with a big left hand. Knocking him back into the ropes. Gets him in the corner. Trying to line him up with that left. Punishing him as the round comes to a close. That late flurry made it a hard round to score. And we'll see whether Miura continued his run or whether Vargas is getting back into the fight. He's doing good. He's doing good, though. Oh, you're right, Max. There's a serious cut over the right eye now on the eyelid. You right. see him come. Muir come with a left hand behind that short jab. Booming left hand. And uh, Vargas landed a good right hook himself, but his legs buckle right after that left hand. I mean, this is a beautiful exchange. A left hand for a, uh, I mean, a, a straight left for a left hook. Both fighters took a hell of a punch right there. But Vargas' legs showed a worse result than did Muir's. Muir has made clear he will eat any punch Vargas throws in return for the chance to land his straight left hand. <laughs> Power shots in that round. Muir 29 out of 52. The 20 oh, there he is. Whoa! There he goes Muir. Now Muir struggling for his own balance. He's up. That brings the crowd to life. He won't Marcus come back with a chance time. here. Miura is still in big trouble. Yeah, he's in really big trouble, Jim. Miura is out on his feet. Yes, the he only is. he knows that he has to keep fighting. That's the only thing he knows. He won't make it out of this round. Tremendous opportunity for Vargas. Yeah, he won't make it out of this round. What a will Takashi Miura has. And what a moment for Vargas to turn this fight around like that. Unbelievable. Oh, the good body shot. We're looking so closely at it. Yeah, he's gone. His legs are out of here, Max. He's done for. His legs are out of here. 
Those body shots are really wearing him down. Here is leaning on Vargas, using Vargas' legs to keep him up. Exactly. But he's been effective at doing it so far, and he's still on his feet, and he's starting to get his bearings. And Arbicus is killing him. Possible round of the year doing here. And Tony Weeks is going to stop it, and Vargas has an upset win. I know the stakes weren't as high in some fights you might see. You didn't know the stories going in. But that is as dramatic a fight as you can see. What a performance. What a special event both these guys created. What a courageous comeback for Francisco Vargas. Phenomenal. Doctors were leaning into his corner between rounds. Vargas cuts below and over his, and under his eye. Vargas was almost stopped at the end of the previous round. Amazing. In the ninth round, Vargas landed 33 shots to only two for Miura, and he pulled out the fight. And it was a great stoppage because Miura looked like he may keep coming, well, he and was. he was taking too many clean shots. Yeah, you see his uppercut right here. The uppercut is what the real problem was. He had no answer for that uppercut. Anytime uh, Vargas threw that uppercut, Miura did nothing about it. That's what got him hurt in the early part of this round. That straight right hand really sent him to the canvas again. And then with the uppercut again, and down he goes. Well, you know, that's interesting. Miura was already down because his gloves touched the canvas. But before Weeks could step in, Miura got back up, and Vargas landed two more clean shots that put him in even bigger trouble. Yes, that straight right hand right there really did the damage. See there, the glove touched the canvas. That's a knockdown. And, and that right up cut that That's made a free worse. shot. That's a free shot. Both of those two punches landed after he had already been knocked down. That's a great observation. What a fight that was, though. And it had to be stopped because Miura wasn't going to stop. No, he and wasn't. he probably was hit with 40 clean headshots in that round. He had done a rather amazing job of leaning on Vargas long enough to get Vargas's legs to keep him upright as he tried to get his head back. And then Tony Weeks intelligently stopped it with Miura taking clean shot after clean shot. And Vargas, with his right eye seemingly closed shut, pulls out the win. And let's go to Michael Buffer for the particulars on the KO. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Mandalay Bay of Las Vegas, we have just witnessed one of the all-time great comebacks in the ring as referee Tony Weeks steps in to call a halt to the bout. The official time, one minute, 31 seconds, round number nine. The winner by TKO victory still undefeated and new WBC super featherweight champion of the world Francisco El Bandido Vargas 20th consecutive win for Vargas and unofficially or no officially officially at the moment of the stoppage Vargas was trailing on all three, no, he's trailing on two scorecards and even on another. So Miura was leading on two scorecards at the moment when he was stopped by Francisco Vargas. And let's take a look at the copy box numbers in this tremendous fight. Sensational fight. Miura landing 166 out of 458, 36%. Vargas landing 103 more punches, throwing. 246 more punches and landing at a slightly higher connect percentage. Power shots. And they seemed like they were all power shots to a certain extent. Mira 133 out of 305, 44%. Vargas also 44%, but with more volume, 204 out of 467. And the punch zone graphic shows you where the punches landed on each of the two fighters. And you see that Miura's punches were landing to the body and to the head of Vargas. 71 body shots, 95 upstairs. 
And Vargas landing 78 body shots and 191 upstairs to the easy to hit Takashi Miura. Amazing that Miura held a 130-pound title for as long as he did, but he's that easy to hit. Tonight, the Mandalay Bay is the epicenter of the Puerto Rican-Mexican boxing rivalry. Miguel Cotto, the latest in a revered line of superstars from the tiny island of Puerto Rico, has taken up the challenge of Canelo Alvarez. At 25 years old, Canelo is on the verge of crossing over the true Mexican boxing hero. But to get there, as with all great fighters, Canelo needs a signature win against a recognized great fighter. Miguel Cotto versus Canelo Alvarez, with so much at stake, is next. But first, a word from our sponsor. He's boy.